What's up guys? Today we are out on the range testing out my new Ruger AR556 pistol. Uh, we have a hollow sun optic on it right now and we're just gonna shoot a few rounds, see how it performs, and then we'll talk about it. All right, y'all, we had a lot of success here at the range with the Ruger. Let's take it home and then we'll kind of go through the whole setup. All right, everybody. Well, we are back in my garage. I wanted to take an up close look at our firearm here and just kind of give you a rundown of what it has to offer versus what I've actually already modified on it. Uh, hopefully this camera angle works out for you. I tried to get it as clear as possible. Um, I'm more than happy to answer any questions that I don't answer for you after the fact in the comments. So let's just start off with what it is. Um, this is the Ruger AR556 uh, pistol. So it has a 10 and a half inch barrel. I'll be careful with the lighting here. And so that's what makes it a pistol. And so obviously what that means is for one, we don't have a stock, we have a brace and you cannot have a traditional foregrip. You have to have an angled foregrip because of the shortened barrel. Um, I find that with the size of this, I don't know if you'll be able to see very well, but I can shoulder it very comfortably. It goes, I don't know, it's just, uh, it's a comfortable firearm to hold. So no complaints about the size. I specifically wanted an AR pistol over a regular AR, um, just because of what I was gonna be doing with it, uh, you know, going camping, uh, being very portable with it, keeping it in the truck sometimes even, uh, if we're out and about going on a trip, whatever it may be. I wanted something, you know, a, a tiny bit smaller than your traditional AR. So now let's kind of just go over, you know, what it came with, certain features here and there, what I like and all that fun stuff. So straight from the factory, um, I went and I shot this thing almost right away. Um, I didn't degrease anything. I maybe wiped it down with the Q-tip a little bit, but a lot of guys like to clean their ARs when they first buy them, um, you know, take them apart, whatever it may be. But I have just started shooting it and it hasn't jammed a single time yet. So I'm very happy about that. So let's start with the brace. Uh, I believe this is an SBA3 brace. Uh, I'm not really sure exactly what that stands for. Something along the lines of um, short barrel A3. I don't know. Um, but basically, depending on your state um, and your local laws, you may not be able to shoulder this firearm. You may have to actually use this as a brace. It has your uh, arm hole, I guess you could call it here, in the back of the brace. And then the Velcro strap to take off and get your arm in there. Uh, luckily, at least at this time in Colorado, I can shoulder this. So very happy about that. It feels good in the shoulder. I'll, I'll try and get it in frame, like I said, but it's very comfortable. I have no complaints about that. Um, moving upwards on the firearm, this grip is something that I swapped out almost immediately. So this is not the grip that comes uh, with the Ruger here. And I'm not sure. It's been a little while since the... Uh, shooting videos that uh, you saw before this or during this, but I may not have replaced this uh, grip at that time yet. So this is the Daniel Defense pistol grip, and um, it's absolutely changed the firearm for me. It's way um, softer, I guess you could say. It's squishier. Uh, the grip is better. It's just 
it's so much more rubbery compared to the hard plastic that came uh, on the gun. And it's honestly a game changer, uh, especially if you're, you know, one handing it or just spending a lot of time holding it. It's more comfortable. You feel like you have better control. And I believe, like I said, it's been a while since I purchased the grip, but I, I want to say it was around $25 shipped. So very cheap modification that's absolutely worth your time. Um, I wouldn't say that the gun is unusable with the original grip if you're not looking to change anything. This is just more of like a bougie upgrade. Um, so moving on, I'm going to pass over the optic for now. We'll talk about that last. Uh, I have the Magpul angled foregrip here. Like I said, on the AR pistol platform, you cannot have a traditional foregrip. I did run into an issue where I couldn't get the foregrip as close to the edge um, of the barrel as I wanted. I probably shouldn't have it that far anyway because I'd probably end up burning myself. Um, but there's just a little piece of metal in here that prevents that. So this is kind of um, a middle ground for it. And I do find it's it's really, it's still a nice place to hold it because you can kind of get your thumb to cover um, this whole area here and you don't risk burning yourself. Uh, so absolutely loving this so far. Um, I also added a QD slot here. I should have mentioned on the brace, uh, if you can see it comes with a quick detach slot here for your um, sling or whatever you may, may be throwing on there, um, but it doesn't have another one. So it'd be fine if you only needed one, but um, the sling I chose has two quick detach points. So that's why I added this one down here. I did have it on the side for a while, but it was really digging into my wrist when I was uh, shooting and I didn't like that. And I find that when it's under here, I almost never even notice it's there. I don't use the sling too often. Um, so that's why it's pretty much always off. But when I do use it, it doesn't bother me. That's for sure. So this firearm specifically, I purchased from Sportsman's Outdoor Superstore, I believe. And it did come with a P-Mag and I absolutely love the P-Mags now. I had never used them before, uh, but now I'm a P-Mag man. So I definitely recommend uh, getting a P-Mag if you're in need um, or just whatever it comes with. You know, that's kind of what we're doing here. Lastly, and this is the most expensive uh, modification I've done to the firearm. I don't think something like this is completely necessary, but I kind of wanted to spend a little bit of extra money. But this is the Hollow Sun 510C. Uh, so this is, I don't know exactly what they call it, some sort of hybrid optic. Feel free to roast me at the comments if that's not what it's called. Um, but basically, um, Hollow Sun is a great optic that kind of lies somewhere between um, bottom of like the price range versus an EOTech optic that's gonna run you $550. Uh, I paid pretty much exactly $300 for this optic, and I don't think I'll really be able to show you how um, great it looks on camera, but as far as the looks, it's crystal clear. You basically have three different optics in one that you can choose from. Um, they have a traditional circle with a dot in the middle, which is what I most commonly use. They have just a circle, and then they have just a dot, and you can swap between those. You can swap your brightness. I have it on an automatic mode where it basically uses its little um, solar panel um, and it adjusts the brightness based off of how bright the room is. It kind of reads the room or reads outside and sees how much light you need and uh, adjusts it manually that way. Um, but it's been an absolutely amazing optic. Once I dialed it in, it's working perfectly. You can find videos on YouTube of people freaking shooting this thing with a shotgun and it survives. It's a great optic. I absolutely love it. And I don't want to be quoted on this, but I believe it's something around 50,000 hours that they claim that you can use uh, the optic for. Um, and I absolutely love it. Um, a lot of people would like to, you know, commonly have backup iron sights on their firearm. For me, I'm essentially done with this AR the way I see it. I'm not trying to go over the top with it. Uh, the only thing I would potentially see myself adding is some sort of uh, light on the side. Um, this is kind of like a home defense AR. Uh, I, you know, I have this by my bed. I have it ready to go, so a light could be useful at night. Uh, but other than that, you know, I wanted to keep it very budget. I think 
I don't know how much these are going for now. Last I checked, um, they're probably around $900. Uh, I think when I purchased this, I want to say I spent like $725. Obviously, things are a little bit different now. I purchased this in March of 2020. So coming up on a year that I purchased it. Um, but it's for a budget, and I use budget in quotes, for a budget AR and an AR pistol. It's absolutely fantastic. I don't think you can beat it. I think it's very important to have a real metal firearm and not something that's, you know, a polymer and something that's just hard plastic that you can't really rely on. Um, I, I don't think I have any complaints about the gun and maybe that'll change as I shoot it. I've probably put 200 rounds through it right now, so definitely not a lot. Um, I know I'm not testing it as rigorously as somebody who's going to put 500 rounds or a thousand rounds through in a week, but that's just not something I need to do right now, especially with the current price of ammo. So uh, I just kind of wanted to share and let everybody know that this is a fantastic first or budget firearm. Um, like I said, the optic itself is, I wouldn't really throw in a budget category. This could easily be swapped for something much cheaper or just iron sights if you don't want to spend the extra cash. If you do want to spend the cash, then I highly recommend Hollow Sun. Um, but really, I just wanted to give you guys an overview. I know it's kind of a, a hot market right now. So if you have any questions about my specific AR pistol, AR pistols in general, the platform, any of my um, modifications here, feel free to shoot me a comment and I would be more than happy to answer your questions. And other than that, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys next time. Feel free to like and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.